What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cheeto Kicks coming back at y'all with another sneaker review. Today I'm going to be showing you a shoe that came out this past Saturday, December 9th. And yes, as you guys can see from me leaning on the box, it's the Jordan 11 with like 96. Coming into the box, you get your standard Jordan 11 box. You get the 23 embossed right here in red. Then on the bottom, you get your Jordan Jumpman with the branding. The side panels, you get your logo right here in red. It's a nice box. You get the pull-out box. I got mine in a size 8. Retail for these was 220 But yeah, on this side, this is where you pull it out, slide out. Then you get your ring right over here. But yeah, man, you slide it out and bam. All right, so once you get through the hard part, you get your plastic cover right over here. You get the number 11 and Roman numeral numbers. And then you get that saying that says, Tinker made them shine, Mike made them fly, you made them iconic. Here's a dope plastic cover right over here. Now let's get to the shoe. So first you start out with the carbon fiber paper, y'all already know. You get an extra sheet of paper over here for protection. And then, here's the shoe itself. Bow! So coming into the shoe, the first thing that you notice is that bright red color that stands out. And it's just a nice, beautiful shoe, man. Since I seen it, I knew this was an instant cop. Anything in red or blue, it's a must for me. Those are my favorite colors. Coming into the shoe, you get that premium pattern leather that stands around the shoe to give it that glossy, shiny look. It's just a beautiful shoe, bright color red. But yeah, then the front of the shoe, you get your red shoelaces. And then between the shoelaces, you get your Jordan Jumpman and the color black. Jordan Jumpman branding right there. Also on the upper part of the shoe, just above that pattern leather, you get that premium mesh. It's in the color red. That's the thing that I like that you don't have to worry about getting it dirty. It's nice, it's in color red. Also, you get it on this side of the shoe. And then the back, you get that 23. A thing that I don't like about it is that it's not stitched, so the more you wear it, the more that it's gonna tear off, but it's dope. Also on the other side, get that picture perfect Black Jordan Jumpman. Now to the bottom of the shoe, you get your white midsole, and then just beneath it, you get the icy translucent sole that stands all around the shoe. The white midsole just gives it a pop, you know, it stands out, but that icy translucent sole, man, it's just buttery nice. Coming into the bottom of the shoe, you get your carbon fiber right over here, and then you get your hints of red, and then the icy translucent sole with the Jordan jump, man. It just looks nice. People, don't be afraid to wear your shoes. Wear them, man. Rock them. Overall, I'm really happy with this cop. This Jordan 11 win like 96. I knew that they were going to look better even in person. But, man, it's just a gorgeous shoe. But yeah, like I said before, this shoe came out December 9, this past Saturday. It retail for $220 plus tax. I got mine in a size 8. With this shoe, I just recommend you go true to size. Unless you got like a wide foot, maybe go up half a size. But that's up to you. But look at it again, man. It's just a nice, beautiful shoe. It looks nice. The Jordan 11 win like 96, you know, to commemorate Mike's big win during the 96 with the Bulls, the Dynasty. But it's just a nice, beautiful shoe in the bright color red. You can match it with anything. Also, I don't understand why a lot of people were hating on this shoe. I just don't see it. They were saying that it was a GS general release. But y'all should be happy because it just makes it easier for us to cop it. You know, if it would have been limited and we would have not get it, we would have been mad. You know, but you can never please nobody. When Melo first came out with them like three, four years ago, if Jordan Brand would take them out during that time, man, these would have instantly sold out. But these did start selling out throughout the day. I got these from St. Alfred. They were doing first come, first serve. When I was in line, it wasn't that bad. There was about five people in front of me. I waited about 20 minutes till 11 p.m. till they opened. But it was an easy cop. I know Full Locker was doing raffles, so basically if you didn't get picked, there was no way you were gonna get them. But if you had the chance to buy it, I suggest you would've bought them because now they're above retail. You know, you can't find it for a retail. So to wrap it up, comment down below. Let me know if you guys like the shoe, if you love it, if you guys copped it. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like always, it's your boy Cheeto Kicks. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. Don't go anywhere for the unfold part of the video. 